it's Monday and so far I'm being quite happy with my day actually because I've I'm pretty sure I've just finished an application for this job yes yeah, so it's Monday not a work today uh, so I thought once I'd finished my application I thought I'd just come for a little run um, I feel like I, I say this every time I go for a run but I, I may be over I may be pushing myself a little bit uh, it's a it's a run from Shipley to Leeds along the canal uh, you can probably see the sort of sort of area I'm running it's quite nice just by the canal uh, I've done it once before uh, I've walked it so I've done it once before I've walked it once or twice actually I think I've walked it and I ran it once but I really did take it very very slow um, but yeah so it's about we're talking half marathon distance we're talking about 13 14 miles uh, so I'm just gonna I'm just taking it slow I'm trying to get a bit fitter uh, since I've been traveling to uh, work on the train every day I've, I feel like I've really noticed the difference in my fitness from when I used to uh, run every day um, or run every other day so I'm trying to get a bit more exercise in uh, it's quite a drizzly day it's a fine drizzle just started to come out again it was drizzling when I left um, so I think we'll pop the camera away and start running again. So that's me done for the day then. It was a good run, it's 15.12 uh, now and I set off at 1 o'clock, 1300. Uh, so that's two and a bit hours, that's not, that's not a bad time I don't think to say. You know, I, I, took, I took, my, took my pace slow. Um, yeah, ran most of the way around, well, ran all the way apart from some little stops just to check on my shoes and thing. I had my shoelace came and done, so I had to tie that again. Uh, it's a nice run. I wanted to show you more about it, um, more of the, the, the views on the run and things like that, but I think I'm going to put that in a video by itself because it's, there's so much I, I really like about this run. But we're here at the end of the canal in Leeds. It's a great place to finish canal. I can get the train home really easily and yeah yeah so we're gonna go home get some food and uh, Tori should be home soon from work as well so we'll be cooking her some food I'm sure. But this is our evening, or my evening. Tori's in a sleeping bag. I've just got some shorts on, because I'm actually quite warm. But that may be the cider that I'm drinking. Made by me. And I think you look pretty. I think what I quite like is it's it's a really you can look you can see the TV through it, so it's quite clear. And I think that's good. For some reason, I remember reading somewhere if it's quite clear, then that's a sign of a constant temperature in the brewing stage or something. But I don't know. It tastes okay. Just about to have some breakfast today. Um, Tuesday morning. I've not really got anything planned for today, um, so I'm just going to chill. I had quite a relaxing morning, um, laid in bed till quite late. Even though I did watch a, when I was in bed, I was watching, I think it's called Pandora's Box, something like that, um, on Netflix, and it was quite a good film. Um, just been on the, the bench for a bit, um, doing a bit of strength training. My legs are a little bit sore after yesterday, so um, 
yeah <laughs> I did I did push myself a little bit too far yesterday but it's okay I'm still I can still walk so that's good um but yeah so I'm gonna give my rest I was gonna go for a walk but I'll give my my legs a rest today I think and so that's why I went uh, I did some training on the bench on the weight bench uh so it's good I'm just about to have some breakfast I'm having chicken omelette Help my recovery from uh, get some get some protein back in me uh, for for to have my muscles repair. I think it's a pretty good idea. Feeling a little bit tender, so that's good. Um, for the rest of the day, I haven't really got anything planned. owns the hotel. Oh, and I'm curious, why didn't you remind me about that until just now? You said shut up, J. Alfred Got Rocks. What? We haven't been paid forever. Where are you getting all this money? I, uh, sold some artwork. Finally got home after what seems like an endless day. Little Dominic waiting for me at the train station. I've taken my makeup off and got my comfy clothes which feels so much better and now we're just, what are we doing? Making some pizza. I say making some pizza, we're putting some frozen pizza in the oven. We're chilling out for the rest of the evening, aren't we? Yeah. So it's Wednesday now today. Um, I'm I've got the afternoon shift today, uh, sorry, the evening shift, so starting at four and working till half eight. Uh, short shift, but it means I get home quite late, obviously, um, but I've had quite a relaxing morning. Um, so yeah, let, let's go to work. So the time is nine o'clock now. Um, I've finished work and I'm at the train station waiting for my train. Uh, it's supposed to be here in like 15 minutes and I always get here really early um, because of when I finish work. Yeah, so I thought I'd just show you uh, sometimes while I'm waiting I treat myself to some, some chips from the chip shop. quite nice to get some some chips straight after work it's a nice little treat I think um, even though it's a really slow day at work so I like chips that's why I got them that's all I don't need a reason to do I really well, I think I'll do a bit of a walk tomorrow um, probably just on the uh, Ilkin Mall where I used to walk um, but it's quite nice it'll, it'll allow me to stretch my legs a little bit but yeah so I'll just wait for this train and enjoy my chips so it's 11 o'clock on Wednesday, um, I'm, I am going for a walk, I'm leaving a little bit later uh, than I wanted to actually, uh, I wanted to be gone by sort of like 10 o'clock, like half nine, but it just didn't happen, I didn't pack my bag yesterday. I've got my bag packed, ready to go. Um, just a few little bits and bobs in there, I've put some food in there, but I don't think I'm going to use it, I think I'm just going to get there and get back. We are going, probably see that's Bailden Moor on there, we live about, we live like two, three miles south of that. Um, so we're going, I'm going on to there and then on to the next page. So on to the next page, um, You've got all Ilkley Moor all around there, um, and we've got Ilkley to the top, uh, to the north, sorry. <clears throat> and we are going, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, I want to go to this Khan here, 402 metres above sea level. I'm going to try and do some filming on the way, 
um, so you can see what it's like. But it's all, it's notoriously windy up there because um, it's just moorland, so the wind just rolls straight over it. Um, and there's no shelter, no trees or anything because it's open moorland. The weather, the weather is good. It looks good. Uh, a little bit windy maybe, but no big rain or anything forecast. So I've just got my just got my light jumper on my, my soft shell. So I, I might see you up there. The I set off, it just started throwing it down. Probably can't see it too well on the camera. Um, but I just found some shelter here to uh, uh, change my change into my coat. So let's try again. So quickly, just before. dark over there, yeah, but uh, the rain just held out for, uh, for sort of like five minutes now while I've just finished the climb onto, onto the top of the first uh, hill, Belden Moor Hill. From the west there's more rain coming in, it's actually short, short sharp showers. Um, you can just see over there, and down there, that's salt air, you can see the salt mill there and salt air. Lovely little place to walk around and just to the left of it is Shipley where I've just come from. And we're now, I left at half past, it's now quarter past twelve. Um, so I'm just going to put the camera away now because it's starting to rain. You can see where we've just walked from, it's really really sunny. You know, just a few clouds in the sky. Um, but then, I took a look over here. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me in the wind, all right. just got into Ilkley um, and there happened to be a train pretty much straight away. Um, Welcome to the Bradford Forster Square train. Going to Bradford Forster Square so I'm just getting that back to Shipley now. The next station is um, Ben Ridding. So I think I'll have some food when I get home because I'm a bit peckish. Um, it was a good walk, I quite enjoyed it. Um, there's parts where the rain got really heavy. Um, and there, there was hailstones at one point, so that was quite interesting. Um, my legs are, my trousers are absolutely soaked because uh, I didn't bring any waterproof trousers. Um, but they're drying quick. So I'm just standing outside work now. In York, um, it's Saturday. I'm um, starting at 11 today, so I've had a bit of a lie-in. Um, when I when I got home yesterday, Tory was full of cold, uh, or it's, I think it's a bit of a, a flu or something like that. Um, so she's all wrapped up at home, and I think when when I get home she's gonna need a bit of a bit of TLC I think. Um, when I left she was in a in the sleeping bag on the sofa so so yeah this is sort of we're getting towards the end of the week now it's Saturday um, I'm also in tomorrow I'm working Sunday um, so we'll see I mean I, there may not be many more videos but I just I just thought I'd have some 
croissants before I go into work. Because I was sort of, sort of trying to sort Tory out before I left the house. I didn't have anything time to eat. Uh, I didn't really have anything to eat. Um, so yeah, let's go to work. So I'm back at, I'm back in Shipley uh, from just finishing work on Saturday. Um, it wasn't a bad shift, it was alright, it was quite quiet and had some good customers which is always nice. Um, but I think we, I thought of a game to play. So I'm just running across this road. It's called What's Tory Watching? And I'd usually be able to guess quite well. Um, but she's not very well. So that changes things. It means I'm going to have three guesses. The first one's going to be um, Royal Family. Here's my first guess. That's a classic when she's not feeling very well. The other thing she likes to watch when she's not very well is game plays. So it'll be a game she's not played, but she'll be watching someone play it all the way through. Because you can just sit back and relax and watch that. But I'm stuck for a third choice. For my third choice, I'm going to go for the thick of it. Oh, I should have guessed, really. What is it? Doom. So she's watching Doom. So, I lost that, didn't I? What do you think my three choices would have been? For something that you're watching when you're not very well. Royal family, thick of it. Royal family, thick of it. I said those two. Did you? Yeah, I said one other thing as well, but I don't think you'll say it. Is that a film or a sitcom? Neither. Yeah, I was thinking about it. What you got left? Not a film, not a sitcom. YouTube. But specifically. So can you no. I said gameplays. Oh, well I didn't say, I was going to say a kid's cartoon. Yeah. But I saw you watching it when I left. So I was like you won't be watching that again. I watched quite a lot of them. Oh. I, I don't know my girlfriend very well. Yes, yeah, so the end of the week for... Let's go and get a pizza. We haven't done it for ages, have we, so... That fly, done it. It needs to die, please, before I can eat this pizza, because it's driving me mad. Duncan was telling me about a website that you can compare your breakfast on, your cooked breakfast. And I think I need to set one up for pizza. And I think it great. she needs to grade... Needs to grade pizza individually, but also needs to look at the company. It also needs to look at the side orders, um, the quality of the side orders, and how the side orders relate to the the pizza as well. Um, but I think I'll have a word with Duncan about that and see what see what I can do. <laughs> Thank you, Tori. <laughs> well, there's pizza on the go here. Oh. Yeah, pizza's getting cold, so end of the week now, Sunday. Worked hard, played hard. Time for pizza.